Now, virtual reality, one of the big themes at this year's Mobile World Congress is expanding its presence in healthcare. Uh, Korean researchers found that virtual reality-based exercises combined with standard therapy sessions resulted in a more effective rehabilitation progress. Park Se-young has the details. A patient flips a fish on the screen without touching the computer. The device he's wearing is a smart glove that uses motion-based games to help patients with forearm paralysis make faster recoveries. The games simulate daily activities such as turning pages or picking up objects, and the glove-shaped sensor tracks the patient's movement. The exercises are fun, so I'm more likely to do them, which will help me recover. The smart glove system collects data on the wearer's motions and posture and measures the range of finger movement. The information is sent to a software app that then manipulates the device or puts up different objects in the training games. The system's artificial intelligence also adjusts the difficulty level according to the patient's performance to create a sense of achievement. Stroke survivors who played the virtual reality games in addition to their regular four-week rehabilitation program made significant progress in several standard tests, while those in a control group saw no major changes. Our goal is to improve the patient's function and quality of life. The smart glove group also scored higher on the quality of life scale, which shows it can be used as a tool for a comprehensive therapy. Virtual reality-based treatments are easily accessible and can be used by patients at home. The researchers also plan to integrate virtual reality-based treatments into physical therapy sessions. Park Se-young, Arirang News.